Hello again. In the previous video we saw how to install XSI backup to a fresh install of ESXi version 6. Today we'll see how we can accomplish our first backup. This will be a fake backup and the only reason to do this will be to test the email sending capabilities of XSI backup so that we can be sure every time a backup is done we receive a report by email. I simply run a df-h command that will output a list of the available data stores in our ESXi system. As you can see we have prepared a data store called backup where we will be storing our first backups. You can as well observe a listing of the XSI backup default installation directory uh, with XSI backup file itself, XSI backup rsync and so on. Okay, now we'll run our first XSI backup job. We start by calling the XSI backup executable with a full path, followed by backup point, which corresponds to the backup data store that we talked about before, followed in turn by the backup type equals all argument, which tells XSI backup to backup all virtual machines. And now we need to add all the arguments that will allow XSI Backup to send an email report every time a backup job completes. But before that, let's take a look at the ESXi inventory, where we have a virtual machine, a single virtual machine called New Virtual Machine 2. This is the one we will be using to run our first tests. As you can see, there aren't any snapshots now. The virtual machine is running. It has three disks attached to it, being the third unindependent disk. Let's go on with this first test backup. So let's go back to the PuTTY client, the SSH client. Uh, I'll be adding all the remaining arguments in a row. You'll have to type each one of them. This is the trickiest part, probably though it's not much different than configuring any other email client. You will need the SMTP server, port, mail from, mail to, SMTP username, password, and so on. Make sure that you add all the remaining arguments. Uh, I'm using a gmail.com account that I will be changing password once I publish the video, obviously. And do not forget to append the test mode equals true argument to the end of the uh, backup job argument list. This will make sure that the backup job itself is not done. This is because we just want to test the email sending features. Once we know we have a working email server, we can concentrate on the other aspects of the backup jobs. And we're almost done. We can keep all these email arguments for later use or even assign them to variables so that we always use the same uh, email arguments. But we, we'll talk about that later on. Okay, and so we're running our first backup job. There's only one virtual machine, the one that we saw before. As we added the test mode equals true to the argument list, the BMDK files themselves will not be copied. So that part of the backup job, the main part, will be skipped and only the email submission will take place. In case of gmail.com accounts, the SMTP protocol conversation is quite slow. This is because they configure their systems not to be suitable for spam submission. Okay, so just as long as the values that we wrote down in the argument list are correct, the email will be sent. The only thing left to do now would be to remove the test mode equals true argument from our argument list so that the backup takes place and that's what comes now. A promise is a promise so we'll now be removing test mode equals true from our uh, first backup. Please do notice that we enclosed the password between uh, double quotes 
and that's because we have some pipeline characters in between as you can see those are special characters that can break XSI backup execution so always make sure when you have such characters that you unclose the password between these double quotes now you'll see the same as before but when we get here instead of jumping to the email submission phase XSI backup will be actually copying the BMDK disks to the backup location. If you remember when we overlooked the virtual machine settings before we made notice that one of the disks was an independent disk. This is a special type of disk and this has some implications. When an independent disk is attached to a given virtual machine the memory cannot be included in the virtual machine snapshots. Apart from that, the disk itself cannot be backed up, so XSI backup will exclude it automatically from the resulting backup. We are doing this backup in real time. Uh, what I mean by that is that the video has not been cut, so we're watching things as they happened. Please do not forget that independent disks are a special type of disk and that they cannot be backed up and thus they will be always excluded from every backup job. So take this on account every time that you add a BMDK disk to a virtual machine and do not make it an independent disk unless you are completely sure of what you're doing. As the third disk has been excluded we are only backing up two disks. The first has already been backed up and so we are now just waiting for the second finish which is a tiny disk. And now again we'll see the phase in which we are communicating with the SMTP server at gmail.com and this is all. You should receive an email containing detailed information about the backup process like times taken, sizes, etc. Goodbye and thank you so much for using XSI Backup. We hope that you find it useful.